I've had a couple of questions recently regarding framing and um, also the lights I use in my studio when it's dull outside and I can't use daylight. Um, so I'm going to address those two questions now. I thought instead of asking, writing a long answer, I could literally just do a very short video and that or anybody else that finds it useful, um, you know, will benefit from it. I use uh, studio lights above my desk. We'll just have a look at that now. There we go. I bought these off Amazon and the pair cost me uh, £40, I think it was. And they produce the most beautiful light and they bathe my working space there in colour, in, sorry, in light, uh, which makes life so much easier for me. It really does. Um, and I can work at any time. I can work at night if I want to. And I can work, you know, obviously, during the daytime. If it's done outside, really helps me a lot. So it's as simple as that. It's two, and I've suspended them from the ceiling with a couple of hooks. Um, and then they obviously drop down to the mains plugs down at the bottom. But yeah, they're great. So that might answer a question for a couple of people, but those lights on Amazon, easily available. They come with tripods for the £40, which I didn't use, I discarded, and I just hung them from the ceiling with hooks, as I said. The other thing is, we're going to be looking at framing quickly, okay? Um, I've just finished a painting for a customer yesterday, and she wants to keep the price down, which is understandable, so... I've, I've what I do is I buy loads of frames from car boot sales and uh, places like that and then I get back and I I've sanded this one down very lightly sanded it wiped it over with white spirit to take any dust off and now I'm going to prep it with some ESP which is um, easy surface primer okay one of these bottles I got off eBay last for ages and I, like I said I did sand, sand it down first to get a good surface uh, any muck off it and stuff like that because they're old frames and then I and, but it was only a very light sand took about 10 minutes to do the whole frame and then I put this stuff on there um, easy surface uh, prep and then the paint will key to it and uh, without chipping or anything like that it's a really good um, it's a good key so I'm going to just uh, put the camera up on the tripod and then I'll just show you the, me painting it and all that stuff. And then what it looks like with the painting in at the end. Okay, then first coat's dry. Um, took about, I don't know, there's not much paint on this. So it took about 40 minutes, I guess, to be dry enough to touch up again. So I'm going to do a second coat and we'll see how it looks after that. Okay, there we go. So that's after three coats of um, eggshell paint. Uh, waited for it to dry in between coats, obviously, and then it all came out beautiful. The finish is lovely, really is lovely. I then gave it a coat of uh, bry wax, which just protects it and adds a slight sheen to it. Takes the matte away. Not a lot, you know, not a very high shine, just a slight sheen. Um, there's a few pictures going to follow in a minute, just to show you it from different angles, but really. But really, that's a great frame. That is a, a car boot cell frame, uh, which I probably paid about, but I'd never pay any more than a pound for it. And sanded down, as you see in the video, sanded down and uh, painted up. Um, I cut the mats myself. I've got a mount cutter and I make my own mounts. Um, but so uh, yeah, it's got a ready to go to the customer. So um, have a go yourself. You know, if you want to save money on framing, it really doesn't take long. It's probably about an hour's work, I guess, in total, including cutting the mount and everything to produce it. It just It's just a bit, you just got to wait between uh, coats drying. So what I tend to do sometimes if, I'm, if, if I've got a few paintings on, I do two or three frames at the same time and uh, try and get them done in batches or prepare them and then paint to fit the size of the frame. Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit. Maybe anybody that's thinking of doing something similar. But uh, that's it. So if you like the uh, video, like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.